We're going to play another popper today, and of course, who is better suited than popper than the man of popper himself, Andrea? Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Happy, happy to be here. Happy to play popper against you again. This is like every time I come to Berlin, we always play. Yes, popper. and I think so far the record is not in my favor, <laughs> but I like to get best up. But this time, I brought a very spicy deck, and I love to play the deck. It's gonna be all green. We are playing Popper and for me today, everything will be around green. Yes, we're playing elves. So that means we're gonna play forests and creatures and more creatures. And eventually there's so many and they're so big that Andrea just has to scoop. Hey, very uh, excited for this. Always love to play Toffel a Popper. Every time I come to Berlin here to shoot these videos, I always make sure to tell one popper video. Okay, so I brought my Boris synthesizer. This is a deck I top aided the popper Geddon with just a few months ago. So this is my list, the 75 from that very cool event, and I'm excited to play it again. Let's go higher. Mm -hmm. Ooh, really high. I can beat this. No, you can't. I can beat this. You can't keep. My starting hand is great. I have removal spells, card advantage, I even have that synthesizer, core sky face shirt. That's everything I need. Me as well. The starting hand is pretty easy. We have lands, we have creatures that make mana and creatures that do something. So, you know, they all work together. That's basically the dream. Vamos. I'll start as a winner. This is your vamos? 21, go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's siesta. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna start with a real opener. Turn one land well. That's okay, I'll accept it. Go. What do you mean accept it? You have no Draw. choice. Okay. And I'll go for an Eco Wellspring. Mm -hmm. And it's your turn. I'm already bored. I'll play a second forest. And for one mana, I will play a Bird Ranger. That's okay. And then for one mana, I will play a Despair Ascendant. Mm -hmm. And then I will make one from the Land of Elf and one from tapping those two elves okay. to cast a Priest of Titania. That's okay. And it's your turn. I'm tapping Jura. I'm not impressed. Should it be? I don't know. Are you? Maybe I should be a little bit impressed. One very common mistake I see people doing when playing Boros is just playing their synthesizer too early. If you're watching this video and you want to improve, to play synthesizer, don't. Try to think about what can I flip? And if there's something that you can flip and you can't cast, then just don't play synthesizer, especially if you have other options. For example, here I have plenty of options, so I'm gonna delay the synthesizer next turn. Of course, if there's a land on top, it's always great to play synthesizer if you have uh, mana. But if you just flip a two drop, for example, or a three drop, I play Foundry uh, Elix in this deck, then I'd rather wait for the next turn. All right, let's go. No. I'll play a Core Sky Fisher, mm -hmm. bouncing back the Eco Wellspring. Okay. And then I'll play another land, no, and no, I no, will no, no, uh, no, no, no. Lightning Bolt your Priest of Titania. Uh, she's dead. You can go. So now you have a 2 3. Fire. Yes. Um, I will play a Timber Watch Elf. Okay. For 3. And a forest and a Korean Ranger. And it's your turn. Alright, let's begin with my experimental synthesizer. Mm -hmm. Flip. Okay. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> as long as you don't kill this, I'm. F no, 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 I will kill it, don't worry. Nah. Yeah, what, look. Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, yes. Well, unfortunate. And then I'll attack you for two in the air. Yeah. 18. 18. And then I will play land and I will draw a card with Eco Wellspring. Ooh, just accepting four damage. You trade two for four? Yeah. Hmm. Not a, I'm not afraid of your, okay. of your damage. What's that? The card I wanted. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I will make, mm, I guess, those. Okay. I will make a blue and then draw four. <sighs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, 
Um, well, I will untap my elf and return this because of Curran Ranger. And then I will attack for three. I'll get it in 18. And then you can make a land draw. And then I will play the forest I returned. Okay. And it's your turn. I'm back and draw. All right. Let's let's do the let's do the combo of the deck, which is Skyfisher returning synthesizer. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I'll play it. Draw. Mm-hmm. I'll attack for two. You go to sixteen. And then I'll play a Thrabin Inspector, making a clue. And then it's your turn. Mm. I will cast a uh, Jasper something. Okay. And play a forest. Yes. And it's your turn. <laughs> Is that what you drew? Three lands? I was afraid you drew three distant melodies. All right, I draw then. I'll play a synthesizer. Okay. Reveal. Woo! <laughs> Let me read that card. I'll play it. Sacrifice an artifact. Clark and Shaman deals one damage to each creature without flying. Okay. I'm not afraid. Okay. I will uh, sacrifice two Eco Wells brain, one in response to another. Okay. So yeah. wait, wait, wait. First. You will... They go to the graveyard. No, 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 no. First they go to the graveyard. Andrea. No. They go to the oh, graveyard. okay. You draw two cards. Very good. Then we resolve the first effect. And then because it's under stack twice, we will roll the second. Yes, there we go. And attack you for four. Yeah, 14. 12. 12. <laughs> 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 I'll play a Barbato Fist. Oh, you get a token. I'll get a token and I'll play a land and I pass to you. All right, this is the draw. So in Yu-Gi-Oh! there's an Exodia. Okay. That wins the game. Does this count? Yes, <laughs> 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 I like <laughs> So would you consider it lucky to draw the Distant Melody or unlucky to draw it and then draw 4-4? Four, four? <laughs> Man, 4-4 four, four is... Sideboarding will be quite shallow because we only really want to take on Wellwisher and we don't have much in our sideboard as well. We don't really care about all the artifacts because, well, they do something when we destroy them, so we don't really like, need anything to get rid of them. They're also not threatening on their own. It doesn't help us to destroy them. But I want the Wrap and Vigor to maybe protect against some Lightning Bolts and some Galenic Blast and maybe some shamans if there's only one artifact but for real it's probably just a minor sideboard all right so against elves i'm gonna bring in casting the fire and clarkland shaman easy what to sideboard out so you've seen that dumbberger cleric is bad hungry elix i think it's too slow and also barbado fist i think it's fine you know it's a medium card it's mostly for the combo matchups in this matchup i can throw him one all right game two my heavy sideboarding hopefully will pay off Okay. Pretty good. Forest. Oh, that's okay. Go ahead. Ooh, already thinking. Huh? Yeah, I'll uh, gain a life again, uh, just like before, and pass to you. So you're on 21. Play forest, tap 2, play an Elfish Vanguard. And then I will tap my green for our purple ranger, which gives it a comfort. And it's your turn. Ooh, you don't have a follow up. What do you mean follow up? I have one mana. You don't have a one mana card. I'm grateful for that, honestly. All right, I have to kill that before it grows out of hand. And then I'll play a Boar's Garrison. Okay, so I could go untap land, cast into the fire the two one ones, but I'm really afraid of that Elvish Vanguard. I know Toroth doesn't have a one mana elf, but he could have elves that cost more, and then the Elvish Vanguard would be bigger than two for my Galvanic Blast. So I'd rather just take that down and then use the cast into the fires later to kill the two one ones. And uh, seven cards, go. Bounce lands are so good, huh? Decent. Bounce lands are forever. You have way too many lands in your deck. I draw so many lands. 
Elfish Vanquish. No. Again. Okay. He's back for ring range. And then we're gonna tap those for green. Yes. And those for green, which is three mana, and play a Timberwood Elf. Nice. Which it's a counter. Go ahead. I don't feel very good this game. But I'll start with a cast into fire on your two cards. I'll gain another life. So you're 22, you see? And pass. Right. Now we need something good. Hmm. I will pump the anger and attack for four. Ooh. All right, that's a good sign. I was so afraid of your Timber Watch. Go. But it looks like uh, it looks like you don't have much going on. I'm slow rolling. I also think it's slow then. I'll okay. go for a Nicar Wellspring. Sure. And then I will um, build a defense with a Rebel token. Mm -hmm. And go. Okay. Mm. I will tap three and play another Timberwatch Elf. Okay. And then we're gonna attack for three. Oh, uh, no blocks. I will deal three damage. You go to 15. 15. Go ahead. I'm tapping your off. I'll start with an experimental synthesizer. Mm -hmm. mm. I will uh, bounce it back to hand. Ooh. And trigger again. So, yeah. and trigger it again. Doesn't do anything. After Timber Watch combo. Yeah. Good that I didn't use it. So oh, good. Good boy. Who's a good boy? I'll play another Equal Well Spring. Yes. And then I'll play a land from over here. And I pass to you. Did you see Indiana Jones, the movie? Why? There's like a guy, they have this like a scene in, in the bazaar where the guy comes with like swords and does like all of this cool moves and then he just gets shot by a gun. This is kind of how it feels though. You do like I reveal this and draw in the wellspring. But in the end, you just get elfed. It's long and I can draw a Clarkland Shaman. Don't Eat worry it. about it. Edict, you said? Eat it. Okay. Yes. I thought you said edict. <laughs> I mean it is an edict. I'll pump yeah. and it's your turn. Draw. All right, let's go again. Synthesizer, float to white. Mm -hmm. well, is it enough? No, it's not. I'll uh, Kurska fish your bounce synthesizer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you have no men. I mean, I have kind of a feeling that an edict might, per round might not be good enough. Yeah, no. <laughs> I keep an attack for three. Yes, 17. Yes, 17. Then I will uh, shoot you for four. Ow! You get a 13. And then I play a throb and get a clue. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> mm, finally. No. Sign something reasonable. No. I will cast the lead system. Okay. Reveal the top five cards of your library. You re reveal any number of creature cards among them and put them into your hand. Ding! No way! Four of them you found? Okay. All of them. Yeah. I mean, I have all my lands, so... Yeah, no, I'm just going to watch. Very good. Okay. I accept it, I accept it, I accept it. Um... Okay. Uh... So we'll cast a Burkle Ranger. Uh-huh. Which adds a counter to the Vanguard. Uh, I mean, we're still kind of in a pickle here, huh? How many timber watches do I need? I mean, you don't have to remove it, you don't even have one. You are at 15. I will attack before, for four. I have to jump block. Yes. Okay, and then I will tap those two and play a Fintan Elf, which also adds a man. Okay. Thank you. Uh, a counter. Which also adds a counter. Go ahead. In your hand, I know two Timberwatch and what else? Uh, Priest of Titan. Okay, okay, draw. I'll start with a synthesizer. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'll uh, continue with another one. Okay. 
Mm. Let's go for a Clockwork Shaman. Um, I mean, yeah, there's not much I can do about it. And then I will uh, Lightning Bolt your Timberwatch. I'll target the Vanguard. Okay, response. Yes. I'll sacrifice four and five artifacts. Yes. And I'll do five of damage to every non-flyer. So I, I, everything goes to the graveyard. Yeah. And I have all these triggers. So first I draw two. Yes. And then I reveal two for synthesizers. And then everything takes one. Five damage. Two. And finally five. Yeah, I have one white floating. So I will... Uh, Use it for a core sky fisher. Ha! No, you can't even return anything. Bounce the clue. Huh. Wait, not even a land? Nah, I make a land drop. What do you need all the land for? And <laughs> attack you for four. <laughs> you get a nine. Uh, Go. Okay. This might be tough. Um. I will start with a Fintan Elf okay. and a Priest of Titanium. Yes. Go. I'll attack you for six. Yeah, go to three. And then I'll play next ammunition and shoot you for three. Yes, sir. Well done. All right. The <laughs> Clarkland Shaman match up uh, seemed to be... Yeah. So, Andrea, let me just rephrase what happened. You tapped one red mana and you played basically a Wrath of God. No, no, no. Only for my board. Oh, okay. And drew four Plague cards. Wind. That's, I played Plague Wind. And drew four cards. And drew four cards. For the sole cost of one red mana. Yeah. That is pretty good. I would not access... That is pretty good. I would not assume that this matchup is any good. No. No. It, it didn't seem great. <laughs> Honestly, I've never played this matchup before. It was kind of like, oh, maybe... No. 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 There's just nothing. Well, no. we learned. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't put up a tough fight, but next time is always a better fight. And obviously, if you want to see Andrea back, all you have to do is write, We love Andrea! He is the best! Bring him every week! Well, every week might be tough, but who knows? If we have a million subscribers, maybe we can afford <laughs> bringing Andrea back every week. And then we have Infinite Popper and Andrea shenanigans. Well, have a good yeah. popper day. <laughs> I don't know. You that? heard it here first. Have a good popper day.